Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you can hear us and see us okay. Welcome to our live stream here on the Formula Botanica Facebook page. My name is Lorraine. I'm the CEO of Formula Botanica, and I'm joined here by Anna, who is our membership site coordinator. And we have a very special live stream for you this afternoon. But before I get started, I just want to make sure you can hear us and see us okay. So if you could leave us a comment in the chat to just tell us where you are in the world, what your name is, that would be great. So I think it's safe to say, Anna, that this is a very exciting week for us, isn't it? Yes, absolutely, Lorraine. It's a very exciting week and I'm very excited to be here talking about my favourite topic, which is the lab. I know, I know. It's going to be awesome. So I hope that you're going to stick around for the rest of this hour because we're here for a whole hour. Uh, we're going to be giving you an exclusive behind the scenes tour of our new membership site. We're also going to be showing you some snippets from the lab at Formula Botanica. But before I go down the route of talking about that, maybe it's best if we actually tell everyone what the lab is. Um, well, maybe I should ask you to do this actually, Anna, since you've dedicated a large proportion of your life to this over the last year. <laughs> Yeah, so the lab is a very exciting project. It is a membership site for people who either formulate already or who want to formulate. Anybody who wants to learn about natural ingredients, formulation, indie, indie business as well. We've got topics on business. And yeah, it's an amazing platform that we've created from scratch, essentially, to complement our Formula Botanica courses, but it is available to everybody regardless of whether you're a student or not and it is packed full of information so each month we're giving you new information in the lab that you need as as an indie beauty brand owner or somebody who wants to launch their own brand so yeah there's it's it's an exciting platform to be part of it certainly is so uh, I'm seeing all sorts of people jump on in the chat which is awesome people here from UK USA London, Bedford, oh, lots in the UK, India, what have we got? Newcastle, Mississippi, USA, Henley on Thames, Kent. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's great that you've joined us live. It's really awesome that you're here with us. So, yeah, as Anna said, we're here to talk about the lab at Formula Botanica. So, as you know, I hope, Formula Botanica teaches award winning online courses to help you become a formulator or an indie beauty entrepreneur. And these courses, they are the foundation. They are the beginning stage that every single formulator and beauty entrepreneur needs. But as you will know, Anna, because you've lived through this with me many times, we get asked for so much more all the time where people are going, can you talk about this ingredient? Can you talk about this latest technique? What about this latest business tip? Can you put all of this in the courses? And I've had these requests so many times over the years that honestly, if we put all of that material into our courses, our courses would be like 10 years long and you would be with us forever, which clearly we want, but I don't think anyone wants you to be studying for one course for 10 years. Is. So we realize that there's so much more material out there, which goes over and above the foundation that we really wanted to create a platform for you where you could access this. And that's how the lab at Formula Botanica really came to life, because we realized that there was all this innovation out there, all this new material that you want to know about. So we've created a platform, a membership site where you pay a monthly fee in order to have access to it. And I should add, the membership site is currently open. And Sam, who is one of our student advisors, has just put up the link. Thank you very much, Sam. Uh, so it's formulabotanica.com forward slash lab. And obviously, we're going to show you a lot more about it. But if you just want to head over there right now, then obviously, that is the link you need to type into your browser. But before we go down that route, we want to show you the lab and we want to give you a bit of a behind the scenes tour and share a couple of the really awesome training materials that we have in there. So with that said, Anna, you're going to give us a bit of a tour, aren't you? Yes, absolutely. I'm going to show you the platform because it is absolutely fantastic. And I believe this is part of what makes the lab so fantastic, the way it's structured and the way it's laid out for you. Mm -hmm. And the point you were making earlier, Lorraine, about, you know, so much information that we can't add to the courses also this industry is moving so fast and there's so many things happening all of the time and the exciting thing about the lab is that we can bring you really up to date current information and we can add that to the membership site for you so i will do a little screen share cool i will put it up for you and i will disappear but you'll still see anna 
Um, and I shall add, if you want to ask us any questions about the lab, just pop them up in the chat and we will. Right, here we go. I'm going to put up your live stream and stop my video. And hopefully that is now all working. Over to you, Anna. Thank you, Lorraine. So hopefully everybody can now see what I'm what I'm sharing, which is the membership site dashboard. So when you log into the lab as a member, this is what you would be seeing. So we have this amazing um, dashboard that has lots and lots of information for you to explore. So the first thing you see here is just a little widget that we've got for our induction week. And that just helps people to know what they need to do getting started in the lab. Then as you scroll down, you have the last three mini labs. Now, what are we talking about when we talk about mini labs? Mini labs are our sort of bundles of content. They're mini courses, if you like, and they are structured in a certain way, which we will go into in a minute. But the last three mini labs that you receive are always going to be on your dashboard. And there is a way to access all the previous mini lab content as well, which we will show you in a minute. They look amazing. Here. Here we have our lab libraries. So if our mini labs are our bundles of monthly themed content, so they will always be themed around business formulation and ingredients, our lab libraries are really uh, an essential item for, for research. So again, we've been asked for years to give you really detailed information about natural ingredients because it's very difficult to find this information anywhere. And so we've started to put together this most amazing ingredients library for you. And everything is listed alphabetically. So you can scroll through and just have a think about what you'd like to, to learn about or what you'd like to formulate with. I'm going to open one up and show you. And essentially, they all follow the same structure and you click in and you're able to see lots and lots of, of information that is essential really to understand the plant. So we talk about the plant in general, if it's a plant ingredient. So here we talk about aloe vera generally, um, and then we, we talk you through in detail the cosmetic ingredients that you can have that are derived from aloe vera and their function, because we know that aloe vera oil isn't the same as an aloe vera powder, for example. So you have everything here. You have um, an explanation about the gel, about the powder, about the glycerite. So really detailed information. And then we go through chemical compounds of interest. So what makes this plant in particular interesting to us as formulators? What are its properties? And we've got amazing information here that is just really detailed that will help you formulate. And then we go on to some general sort of ingredient information about where the plant comes from and, you know, some of its history, perhaps. And then we move on to composition, formulation and cosmetic use. So as you can see, it's very, very detailed. And the last bit that I want to highlight is the fact that we link to, you know, scientific studies. This isn't just information is hearsay information this is thoroughly researched scientific information which we're giving you so that is our ingredients library looks fantastic so we also have two other libraries we have our formulations library and we have our equipment library the formulations library is exactly what you would expect. It's lots of different formulations for you to explore and try out yourself. So if you are somebody who perhaps hasn't done a lot of formulating yet, this is perfect for you because we've got lots and lots of formulations for you to try out. So I'm just going to open one here. We've got a bedtime body butter and it gives you, you know, all the ingredients that you need equipment the method and then we talk a little bit about things that you could 
replace or things that you could change in the formula. So it's a perfect way to experiment because you've got these formulations that are created by our, by our education team, by our tutors for you to explore. And then our final um, library is the equipment library. And here we've got sort of guides and we've got reviews on, on different things that you would need for your um, at home lab, essentially. So if you haven't yet started purchasing equipment or anything like that, this is this is perfect place to start. And I will say, you know, we're adding to these libraries continuously. So they're not just uploaded and then left. Each month we add new equipment, each month we add new formulations, and we add, um, you know, things as and when they, they come up as well. So there's there's lots to explore. The final thing at the bottom here on the dashboard is our masterclasses. And I will come back to those as part of the mini labs. So the mini labs really are the basis of, of what is the lab is all about, really. It gives you detailed mini trainings each month that you can dip into as and when you want to. So I'm gonna click on this mini labs tab here and share with you all of the content that is already on the site. So you can access this content from the minute you become a member if you choose to sign up. And we have covered all sorts of different topics already. We've got um, a topic on pH, we've got branding, we've got essential oils, content creation, botanical oils, lots and lots of different content. And I'm going to show you the structure of these. So when you click on each mini training course, this is what you will see. And the structure is the same each month. And it starts off with a, a welcome. And here we're telling you all about what you're going to learn. And then we move into the content and we have a lecture here. So for example, we have um, Robert Tisserand featured in this particular mini lab. And we'll, I think we we'll, might see a little bit of that later on. But you have some information, you have a video, you have some resources, you have all the information about Robert and where to find him. So there's lots and lots there to explore. And then our lessons, again, follow a similar structure. So you've got um, amazing videos from guest speakers. And you've got all, your, all of your videos to watch and some lesson notes to download as well. So that's the first part of the mini lab. And then we go through to the masterclass. So the masterclasses are a live Q&A each month with either somebody from the Formula Botanica team answering your questions or an external guest. So for example, this month we spoke to um, a formulator and, and brand owner called Lisa Basso on the topic of essential oils. And that was a live Q&A. And you can register for these at the beginning of the month if you want to be involved live. But as you can see, we do upload the replays here in the lab. Um, for you to watch afterwards if you're not able to see them live. So that's the masterclasses. And then we have a quiz each month just because it's it's quite nice and fun to, to test your, your knowledge on, on what you've learned essentially. And then the final piece of the puzzle is this lab mission that we create each month. And the lab mission is a piece of, of something practical for you to do. It's a practical task and it builds on the knowledge that you've learned in the mini lab and it gives you something practical to go away and do. So that is the structure of the mini labs each month. And yeah, I, I really enjoy the structure of these um, mini labs because I think they're such a fun way to learn. And in fact, I, I learn lots from them each month as well. Yeah, they look fantastic, Anna. So have you have you concluded your tour? Yeah, so that's the that's the main part of the lab. I'll just show you um, the sidebar here as well. Because here we have this fun little lab level on the side. And I think these are really fun. We have five levels from beginner to um, lab leader. 
that you can earn. And you can see here that I've earned some points. And every time you interact with the content in the lab, you earn points and you work through those badges. So we, we know people really enjoy these. It's just a, a nice way to, to see what you're, what you're doing and what you're learning essentially. On the sidebar, you can also see just a couple of announcements. You can see what's coming next month and you can see um, our featured ingredient. Every single month we have a, an ingredient that we choose to highlight. So that is the lab in a nutshell, really. Fantastic. OK, I shall bring myself back into the room and hide the lab. Thank you very much for that tour, Anna. That was awesome. <laughs> We've had loads of questions in already. And I just wanted to highlight this comment from Karen, which just came in. She said, the lab is a great support system for me. I just signed up. Thank you. Thank Welcome. You. Karen. That's awesome. Um, so I think let's just dive on a couple of questions as they've come in, because I think we'll be getting quite a few more and otherwise they'll be lost in the thread. So if you do have a question, post it up. Half the Formula Botanica team is in the comments at the moment as well. Thank you, team, you're awesome. And they're answering a lot of things as well. Um, first of all, someone said, um, do, is the lab suitable for a beginner? That was a question from Lena in the UK. Do you want to take that one? Yeah, absolutely. So yes, the lab is suitable for a beginner. Every single month, the way we structure our content is that we try and cater for beginners, um, intermediate formulators, and people who are more advanced, and there should be something for everybody. And that's the same with our libraries as well. So in our formulation library, there are you know, formulations that are completely suitable for a beginner and that you could you could start straight away with, you know, minimum, minimum formulation knowledge. But also if you want to start to learn for, to formulate the the research that you can do in the lab in terms of looking at different ingredients and things like that is absolutely invaluable so you're starting with such a rich platform to learn yeah absolutely i think another thing to to highlight is the the libraries i mean you had a look at them already um i have had so many questions over the years from people going where is the one place that i can go where i can just find out about every single plant and what it does on the skin and that, that is a big ask to be fair um, but I've always had to say, I'm afraid that book doesn't exist. But the good news is that we are effectively creating that for you now. And as Anna said, we're adding new ingredient profiles every single month. And our team of researchers behind the scenes is constantly going through all the scientific um, articles that are out there, really trawling through the data and condensing that down. And you can't see it because I've got my bookshelf here, but I have lots and lots of books on ingredients and cosmetic ingredients and plants. And there really isn't anything out there that is a very comprehensive, good scientific reference that covers all of it. So we are creating that for you as we speak. Yeah. And this goes with the formulations because in our courses, we teach you how to formulate. We teach you how to create your own formulations from scratch. In the lab, we're creating a library full of formulations for you. So if you want some additional sample formulations to follow, we've got them there for you to, to basically create or to try out before you create your own. So that's how it really complements the courses so nicely. Yeah. Um, right, let's see. Oh my God, so many questions. Um, <laughs> someone asked, uh, do students have access? I do want to just cover this one because um, at the moment, students don't have access. You do have to sign up separately for it. But we are currently opening up the lab for one pound for the first month. So it is a bit of a no brainer in that respect. If you want to join us, please do. That's just one pound for the first month. Um, every month after that is 29 pounds to retain access. But if you just want to come and have a look around, you're absolutely welcome to do so now. And you know, we've signed up over a thousand members already and we really hope that you come and join us too. Um, another question that we had is, um, if I cancel my membership, can I still have access to all the content? Do you want to take that one? Yeah, so the way it works is it's a monthly membership site and you are essentially paying for the access. So you won't have access to the majority of the content if you unsubscribe as a member. There's uh, There are limited things like the lab missions you can download, that's a downloadable. So if you download that before you unsubscribe, then you would still have access to that. But this relates to a point that you made earlier, Lorraine, people are paying for access and there's a good reason for it because we keep this platform up to date. So when you were talking earlier about 
you know, the ingredients library and there not being huge amounts of, of books that would cover this kind of information. Once you've published a book, as soon as it's published, it starts to go out of date. Yeah. This platform is a platform that we maintain and we regularly update. And that is key because if a study comes out next week on a certain ingredient that is already featured in the lab, we can go and update that. And we can say to you, hey, this has been added. This is a really interesting study and we've added that to your content. So I think that's key. So that's why you're paying for monthly um, access essentially, so that you can have the most up-to-date information there is. Yep. Yeah, and that's quite similar to why we have expiry dates on our courses as well, why you have a deadline in order to complete them, because, you know, we're constantly, re well, redoing everything and basically improving everything all the time for you. Um, someone else asked the question, is the masterclass part of the mini lab? Um, do you want to just take that one? Yeah, absolutely. So it is. It's my favorite part of the month, actually. Um, so I host the masterclasses and... Every single month we have a new guest, either from the Formula Botanica team or an external guest. And it's such a wonderful opportunity to be able to access our wider network that we have within the industry and bring you people that are doing really exciting things and that we know will help your, your learning or just inspire you and, and to tackle topics that you want to hear about as well. So yes, the masterclass is included. As long as you are a member, you get a monthly email to remind you to sign up and the the sign up link is always within the membership site so it's always there for you and we've got a lot of guest lecturers in the lab as well i think that's another point we should really mention and highlight because obviously our courses are made by us you know we have a big team at formula botanica there's over 35 of us um but we have so many friends and partners throughout the industry people who we admire who we get on super well with and who unfortunately don't really have a place in our courses so we knew that we really wanted to involve them somehow um yeah we've, we've had some phenomenal lectures already and we've only been going since june i mean can you give us some examples of the people who've joined us so far yeah, so we've had um, Robert Tisserand, who we showed earlier on. We had an amazing talk from Antonia Burrell, who is an amazing um, facialist and, and skincare brand owner. We've had, gosh, so many. We had Colleen Quinn join us um, talking about the chemistry of essential oils this month, which was fascinating and, and really inspiring. Yeah, just so many wonderful guests and so many wonderful guests in, you know, that we're planning and that will be coming soon. Yeah. And we've had Susan M. Parker, who runs um, Lipid, Lipid Love, I think it is. And she's written this awesome book, if I can reach it. I don't know where it is on my shelf. The Power of the Seed. Yeah. Um, we've had Marie Raymer, who's come in to talk about branding. She designed the logo for the lab, by the way. She's awesome at branding. Um, we, you, you interviewed Thomas Kerfoot from yes. uh, O and Three Oils. I mean, you've had some, and of course, you've been you've been interviewing quite a big ingredient supplier this week, haven't you? Do you want to sort of lift the lid on that one? Yeah. So this is a little bit of a sneak peek, a teaser of what's to come. But next month, we're we're talking about emulsions, lamella emulsions, very specifically. And I got to talk to one of the main ingredients manufacturers. Um, they are global, and they. They, they were talking to us very specifically about one of their range of emulsifiers and its unique properties. And what's so interesting about that is, you know, these ingredients suppliers have all the information on all the tests that they've conducted on these ingredients and how they're making their ingredients more sustainable. So one of the things that I found absolutely fascinating was they were talking about the life cycle of their emulsifier and how they're using the waste products from these emulsifiers for other purposes on farms and things like that. And I thought, what a fascinating thing. And this is brand new information because this is brand new sort of um, things that they've done within their range to make it more sustainable. So we're bringing you up to date information on these amazing ingredients. Yeah. And all these ingredient suppliers want to be in the lab. So it's a really nice opportunity for you to be able to interact with them, because normally a lot of these mainstream ingredient suppliers, they don't talk to the indie beauty formulators and entrepreneurs, but we're giving you access to them. So that's really, really exciting. Mm -hmm. um, rather than diving on more questions, we'll come to a lot of your questions at the end. So please do keep them coming. I'm making notes of them in case I lose them. Um, I think it's maybe time that we show a few clips from inside the lab. So obviously you gave us the tour of the mini lab and the first thing that we looked at in there was the lab lecture. 
do you want to just recap quickly what a lab lecture is? Yeah, so the lecture really um, is, is about setting the scene for the month, um, giving us information that we need to know about that topic. And it will generally be somebody speaking to camera um, and, and giving us what, what would be a lecture, but it's not a lecture, it's really fun, and, and giving us information that we need to know. So that's, that's a lab lecture. Yes, exactly. And some of these lab lectures, we're filming them like this. Some of them, they're filmed in the lab. Some of them we filmed uh, when we were on site, when we've had live events. Obviously, we haven't had any live events this year. So it's, uh, it's in lots of different formats. And we'd like to show you a snippet from one that we filmed with Robert Tisserand um, a little while ago, actually, at one of our last live events. So I'm going to try and put that live in the stream. I'm just going to hide you here, Anna. There we go. Now, let me put this one up. And then I'm going to hide myself. And you'll be able to now watch a snippet. This isn't the whole lecture, but just a snippet of one of the lectures in the lab. Here we go. Um, there, are two, there are two main listings, the CITES and the IUCN Red List. And you probably want to look at both uh, and read, it, read the small print. Um, the most sustainably the most threatened essential oil from sustainability point of view is spikenard, which probably isn't widely used in cosmetics, um, because it will only grow at very high elevations in the Himalayas. You can't cultivate it. And so all of it's wild grown. Um, and uh, it's a challenge. It's, it's also a problem because there are thousands of families that tend to these wild growing plants. Um, and we may be putting them out of work, which is another issue to consider always. Uh, but I'd also say that, yeah, with uh, there's uh, spikenard and rosewood are probably at the top of the list. Um, sandalwood was there, Santillum album was there, but if it comes from Australia, it is now sustainable. If it comes from India or Indonesia, it's not. But if it comes from Australia, it's, it's definitely sustainable because it's being cultivated in massive plantations. Um, I would also say that you need to be more careful with essential oils from trees, um, particularly if they're slow growing trees. So eucalyptus isn't a problem, it's a fast growing tree, it grows everywhere abundantly, it's not a problem. Uh, but for many other tree essential oils, there are, you know, we're, we're, we're getting close to being threatened for some species, like Peru balsam or Styrax, for example. Um, maybe some cedar woods. So those are those are issues I would consider. So there you go. Let me just bring Anna back as well. That's an example of a lab lecture that we would have in a mini lab. And obviously that was an example of um, an interview that we did with Robert Tisserand, which was in our essential oils mini lab. And in that particular snippet, he was talking about the sustainability of different essential oils. And I really wanted to highlight that clip because it's so nice to see someone talking about, first of all, the sustainability of ingredients, but also really giving you an idea of the sort of innovation that goes beyond a lot of the, the sort of typical formulation that you might be doing. Um, I mean, there was some great, there's so much great content in that essential oils mini lab, wasn't there, Anna? What, what other topics did we cover? Yeah, so we also covered, as I said before, the chemistry of essential oils and essentially these uh, functional groups that they can belong to. And that was a guest lecture, a guest lesson by Colleen Quinn, who is the founder of Lab Aroma. And she's absolutely excellent, a, a real expert on essential oils and has worked with them for years. And we also look at sustainability a little bit ourselves and the provenance of essential oils as well. Where do essential oils come from? There's a lot of confusion about different types of essential oils. You know, are CO2 extracts still essential oils? Are, you know, absolute still essential oils? So we talk about all these different types of essential oil and, and you know, what to expect from them. Awesome. And then you did that live masterclass as well, didn't you, with Lisa? And that was only, was it a couple of weeks ago? Last yeah. Week? I'm losing track. <laughs> yeah, it was last week. So the masterclasses usually happen a few weeks after the content is loaded up onto the site. So we let you look around and explore 
and we give you a couple of weeks to sort of, um, you know, to learn a little bit, to, to think of some questions and to decide what you would like to, to ask in the masterclass. And then we have our live guest. And yes, that was that was fantastic. Lisa had lots of practical tips for working with essential oils. And, she, you know, her own brand is based around essential oils and she had lots of inside information on the industry. So it was fantastic. Fantastic indeed. So speaking of masterclasses, I think it might be worthwhile us showing a snippet from one of our masterclasses. Um, so Anna hosts these masterclasses, and as you can tell, she's an absolute pro, and all these different guests come on, and sometimes they're guest lecturers, sometimes they're members of our own team, because obviously we have our own education team, we have our own in-house formulators. Um, and then basically, the people, the members in the lab, they come onto the masterclass and they ask their questions, either live, or they can put them um, up in the lab community beforehand as well if they want to obviously, if they can't make it live and, and want their question put forward. Um, so yeah, obviously you gave an example there of, of Lisa who you had on last week, uh, last week Lisa Basso from Inner Senses. Um, I've chosen a snippet, which I'm gonna put up in a minute, of actually our own in-house formulator, Timmy, who you may have seen on some of these live streams with me before. She's worked for Formula Botanica for many years. She's the best formulator I've ever met. And uh, we did a masterclass on weights and measures. So again, you can see that's a really specific topic which goes over and above what we do in the courses because we really wanted to go deep into weighing and measuring your ingredients and getting, getting your formulation techniques under control. So let me show you that snippet as well. I'm gonna hide you again, Anna, <laughs> and I'll bring you back in a minute. Here we go. So I'm just gonna stop my video and then you get to watch this as well. So this is free content from the lab that we're sharing as an exclusive with you today. And this was an interview that, um, that Anna did with Timmy. It was an hour long interview. We've just chosen a two minute snippet where you can see someone put a question live to Timmy and her answer it and provide some really practical tips on actually weighing out your ingredients. So here we go. Hi, if we weigh the recipe ingredients in separate containers before we start, would we lose too much of the formula on the sides of the container that would then cause the product to come out wrong? So I'm, you know, I'm assuming she's talking about yeah. your ingredients sticking to your beakers and that kind of thing. Um, it's actually a very, very good question. Um, I personally never do that and because, exactly for, because of this reason that I'm worried that they would be not the wastage but my recipe would not be sorry my formula would not be um precise and i was chatting with eliziani and she said when she worked um in uh in production they actually had to weigh everything in separate beakers and you know there were lots of washing up however the actual formulation process was much much faster and at least you know you knew okay if you have five ingredients in your beaker already, you weigh something wrong um, as a fixed ingredient, you have to chuck the whole thing. So I think there is pros and cons. Um, what I would recommend if you choose to weigh your ingredients separately, I would not necessarily use beakers. Um, I don't think, I can't reach it from here. I think it's, I'm sure actually it's called watch glasses. I'm sure you, you've seen them. They are like a lens, like a glass lens, and they are a bit deeper in the middle. You can buy all sorts of sizes. So what I recommend is that you use these kind of tools rather than a beaker, because then if you have something like a silicone um, spatula, you could nicely just scrape everything off the watch glass and you know into the main beaker. So you don't have to worry about leaving stuff on the side of your of your beakers. Fantastic. Let me just bring Anna back as well and hide that video. Here we go. So that was an example of a snippet from one of our lab masterclasses where you interviewed Timmy, who's one of our formulators, to talk about weighing and measuring. And you can see that was a great opportunity to come on, speak live to an expert on that particular topic and get your questions answered. And I've seen a couple of people ask questions about, do you show what to do when things go wrong? How do you resolve issues with formulations or with ingredients? And these masterclasses, I think, offer that perfect opportunity, don't they? 
Yeah, absolutely. And my favourite part of these, as you said, Lorraine, is that people get to ask their questions. And sometimes it might be something that they've been searching for the answer for, for you know, a little while and they couldn't find um, the answer anywhere and, and they speak to a, a, a one of our guests and they, they get an answer that they're looking for. So it's really great. And yeah. we get to explore some of the, some of the don'ts as well as the do's. Yeah, absolutely. And I've, I've instantly seen some questions come up about what Timmy was recommending. She was recommending a watch glass and I don't have them to hand either. <laughs> I should have obviously got mine out too. But they're, they're like little domed glasses. They're very simple to get hold of. They're very inexpensive as well. And she's right. It's much easier to scrape your ingredients off them. You often see us use them in um, some of our videos as well because we, we have so many of them. In fact, I have a whole box of them in my garage. Um, right. <laughs> so keep those questions coming. Um, I'll just answer this one as well, because we've had quite a few questions uh, along this line. I don't know if it's from the same person or not, but some people have asked, do we recommend what percentage you should use for each ingredient in the library? Um, Elisiani, who's our head of student experience and is also a biochemist and pharmacist, has been answering this question already in the comments. Yes, we do. What I will say, though, is we don't do what you would typically see in a, an online ingredients library, like um, UL Prospector, for instance, because those are very specific trade ingredients. We are looking at the plant, and then we look at which cosmetic ingredients you can derive from that plant. So obviously, it will differ in terms of the hydrosol, the essential oil, or the, the carrier oil, whatever it is you can get from that plant, the ingredient will uh, percentage will vary. But if there is a recommended percentage, we will include it. And we do include any contraindications um, or precautions that uh, that needs to be kept in mind as well. Although, thankfully, a lot of the natural ingredients we include in there don't particularly have that. So keep those questions coming. We're going to answer as many as we can. Um, I've got one more snippet to show, and that's from the lab lessons from our botanical oils mini lab. So do you just want to run us through what the lab lessons are quickly? Yeah, so the lessons we go into a little bit deeper into the topic and we, we separate the lessons out a little bit. So we structure them so that there is a lesson that is suitable if you've never, if you know nothing about the topic at all, that's your starting point. Your beginner lesson one is where you, you sort of make a start. Lesson two, we generally um, will we'll target something a little bit more intermediate and we will look at, a, you know, a, a different topic um within that same theme and we do the same for lesson three so lesson three we go a little bit deeper still so they they move on nicely one from the other really so that you can progress in your yeah. skills and and you can um you know think about how you want to apply that knowledge yeah brilliant and obviously we do most of the lab lessons but sometimes we get guests in to to do voiceovers um, as Anna said, we had Colleen Quinn from Lab Aroma come in, who is extremely knowledgeable. And I believe she's coming in to do the CBD and Hemp Mini Lab as well, isn't she? She is. Yeah, Colleen will be coming back again quite soon, actually, in the next couple of months. And we're really excited to have her because she's she's an absolute expert at what she does. Um, so, yes, we're really excited about that. Yeah, yeah. People are really keen to come and work in the lab and share their knowledge with you. So. With that said, I'm going to show you a snippet from one of, I'm just going to hide you again, Anna, sorry, uh, from one of our lab lessons, which Anna did the voiceover for, which was from our botanical oils um, lab lesson or mini lab. The whole, the whole mini lab was about botanical oils. And we had Susan M. Parker in there who wrote Power of the Seed. We, taught, we had Thomas Kerfoot in there from Owen 3 who sell amazing oils. Um, and then we did these lab lessons on various topics, such as um, what's, what's comedogenic got to do with botanical oils should you even keep that in mind that sort of thing and then we did a whole lab lesson on sustainability and botanical oils which obviously is a really really important topic particularly now so I just want to show you a snippet of that so I'm just going to hide myself and then we'll get started with this one and you'll be able to see another example of what we actually do in the lab Oil crops have gained in importance during the last few decades, resulting in a doubling of the words oil crop production in the last 25 years. This increase has led to a significant rise in water usage too. In fact, 70% of the world's water usage goes to agricultural crops, which includes oil crops. 
This number is made more significant when we consider that more than half of the world population are predicted to be living in countries facing high water stress by the year 2025. Certain oil crops require more water than others, depending on where they are grown. For instance, due to the climatic differences in Europe, both sunflower and rapeseed show a higher water demand in southern Europe than in northern regions. The result is that rapeseed is mostly grown further north in Europe, where water scarcity is not a major issue at the moment. Or, taking soybean as an example, this crop is currently grown primarily in the USA, Brazil and Argentina. Differences in crop water use are the highest for soybean, and in some countries twice as much water per unit of crop area is used than in the countries with lowest water use. Furthermore, important crop producing regions such as the Mediterranean Europe and the Western USA are expected to have lower rainfall and higher temperatures in the future as a result of worsening climate change, which may place additional stress on any oil crops grown in these regions. All oil crops therefore have a water footprint and this is an important consideration when working with botanical oils. Okay, let me just hide that one. I'll bring Anna back. Hopefully we are back in the room. So that was an example of a lab lesson and um, there you can see the sort of training materials that we provide which vary from month to month obviously and as Anna said at the beginning we vary the topics in our mini labs so one month will be on formulation then it's going to be on ingredients then we'll be talking about different things to do with business because we know that our students really want to get that mix of things because so many of them want to be formulators and entrepreneurs so with that said we've got tons and tons of questions flooding in I've written down a whole load of them so shall we start to answer them and if you have any uh, any questions about the lab please do put this up put them up and we will try and answer them now um first of all i will say we are currently um open up from um we are currently open for members so registration is open right now and we've got people joining us all the time um and we close registration on friday the 27th of november at 4 p.m uk time so do make sure you go and check what the time is in your local time zone if you want to make sure you don't miss it. Um, so we will be sending out some reminders on that. Don't worry if you uh, if you don't have time to sign up today. But if you do want to come and join us, let me just see if I can find the link. Sam shared it again. Thank you, Sam. Here is the link, formulabotanica.com forward slash lab. You can currently sign up for one pound for the first month. So it really is a no brainer. You can cancel any time. Um, after the first month, it goes up to £29, but we are so sure that you're going to love the lab that we just want to effectively give it away for free for the first month. So come and join us. So with that said, um, let's jump into the first question that I've got here, which is, do we provide certificates of completion? We don't for the lab. It's, you know, we don't provide certificates because it's something that we're constantly adding to and, you know, expanding what is in there so we don't give you a certificate of completion as such but when I did the little tour I did show you our little badges and so your badge will increase at the longer you've been in the lab essentially and and the more you've interacted with that content and the longer you've been with us so they are a really fun touch but it also helps keep you on track with your own learning and making sure that you're covering the things that you want to cover yeah absolutely um Victoria asks how long do we have access to the lab for assuming we pay our monthly fee? Well, so, yeah, <laughs> how long is a piece of string? We're going to keep going for as long as we can. So we're going to be here for years, basically. <laughs> Absolutely. And we've put a lot of effort into getting this up and running for you. So we are not going anywhere with it. You know, we want the lab to continue for as long as it can. So as long as you want to continue being a member, we will be adding new content each month. And you've got your your back catalogue, essentially, of content that you can go back through and revisit if you want to, which I think is really good because sometimes you learn something and then you think, hmm, that's not quite, I need to go back and I need to think about that again in a different context. And you can do that with the lab. You've got all of your materials there. So for as long as you want to be a member, we're, we're delighted to have you. 
Yeah, I should say we've been working on the lab since 2017. I know we haven't talked about it. It is literally our best kept secret, Formula Botanica, because I didn't want us to go public with it until we were absolutely sure that what we had was perfect. Um, I'm a bit of a perfectionist at times. It's uh, slightly crippling at times, actually. But anyway, we've been working on it for three years. Anna's done an amazing job. You know, we've, yeah, we're so, so happy with it. And we really want you to make the most of it now as well. So obviously it will be open for registration for another three days. Uh, I will say we don't know when we're next going to open up the lab. I have no date for it. When we close it down, there will be a little TBD to be decided on the website because we have absolutely no clue when it's next going to open because 2021 is going to be a very busy year for us. Um, so I will say now is your chance. I don't know when your next chance will be, probably not until, I don't know, the second half of next year at the earliest. So for one pound for the first month, it really is a no brainer. I really hope you come and join us. Um, let's see. Uh, there was another one. From Wong Su Yi, who says, I'm still a beginner. Is it advisable to join the lab at this stage? I know you answered this one earlier, but could you answer this one again for us, Anna, please? Yeah, I would say absolutely. If you if you have an interest in learning, then the lab is perfect for you. And you know, there's lots and lots of content to explore. And I think something I want to stress about the content is we talked about the structure and how we have something in there for beginners, intermediate and advanced but you can dip in and out of the lab as you want to use it. So that, you know, you search for what you want, you, you come across something that you think, okay, today I want to learn about pH and it's there for you. You don't have to um, work through things in a certain order if you don't want to. It is all about building that knowledge in a way that is easy to access on a daily basis. We're all busy, we'll have lots to do and we wanted to make it as easy as possible for you to learn and that's why we came up with the structure that we did. So you can take half an hour just to learn about pH and, and dip into the parts of that that you feel you need the most. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we've already got over a thousand members in there. Everyone's absolutely loving it at the moment. We want this for you as well. So do come in and check it out. Um, now, OK, a couple more questions. Someone asked, and I'm sorry, I didn't write down your name. Is there any practical work in the lab? And I know we didn't show off the lab missions in any detail, but I know Shelley is in the chat and she was already hashtagging her lab mission because I think she enjoys it so much each month. Do you want to talk us through the practical elements of each mini lab? Yes, each month there is a practical workbook, which we've called a lab mission, because we want you to go away and put your theory, the theory that you've learned in the lab into practice. And these lab missions, you know, they're not hugely time consuming, but they are really fun to complete. And they just give you something practical to focus on that month. And you, again, you don't have to do them in, in the order of, of doing them the month that they're released. But if you do want to join in that month, then great. We love that. We love people share in the Facebook group what they've been doing with the lab missions and, and, and show it off. And it's great. It's absolutely fantastic. We love seeing it. Yeah. I've just put up the link again. It's from Asia, who's our digital and social specialist. So do come and check it out. As I said, it's open for another three days. And for that one pound for the first month, it really is a no brainer. Um, Let's see, we've got uh, another question. I'll answer this one actually, which is about the finances. So the first the first month is one pound. After that, it's 29 pounds recurring each month. That just continues to go out. If you stop your membership, you don't have access anymore. It's that simple. Someone asked, can we pay in US dollars or euros? I'm afraid not. We're a British, British school, so we charge in British pounds. Um, normally there is a currency converter on our website, but for one pound, <laughs> we didn't think it was necessary, really. So, you know, it's like $1.30. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference. But please do go and check out your local currency converter. You can go to a website called xe.com. You can even go into Google. Just go into Google and type in GBP, Great British Pounds, and then like USD. And it, Google has its own inbuilt currency converter. I use it all the time. It is incredibly fast and easy to use. So if you have any questions about that, just go and uh, check out either xe.com or use Google. Um, let's see, someone else asked, um, I'm currently doing the foundation diploma, will the lab help me? Yeah, absolutely. We have lots and lots of lab members. In fact, when we first opened the lab, we opened it up for students and graduates to our community to essentially pilot it and, and get their feedback. And 
the feedback has been fantastic from people on the courses and we've got people in the lab who are on all different courses that we provide um some of the some of the people in the lab some of our lab members are working through our big bundle of courses but the diploma is our foundation essentially um course and that you will find the lab will complement it beautifully because of the the tools that we've shown you especially the ingredients library the formulation library and all of those things it will absolutely complement your studies on the diploma in organic skincare formulation yeah that's how we designed it it doesn't matter what level you are at everything everyone can get something out of the lab and i think it's worthwhile just reiterating that you know our courses they are the foundation you need those to become a formulator and become an entrepreneur but there is so much information out there and i don't know if you're like me you know i subscribe to every single <laughs> sort of publication in the industry and i'm constantly getting personal care magazine and global cosmetics news and cosmetics design and cosmetics business and they're all flooding in continuously and i'm looking at all of them going ah so much news how do i keep up with all the latest ingredients how do i keep up with what's hot this is why we've made the lab so you, you can keep on top of what's current what's relevant and make sure that your formulations and if you start a business that your business remains current and relevant as well so that's why we're doing all the heavy lifting for you effectively um we've uh we've had quite a few questions from people saying do you cover for instance um making oil perfumes or um, soaping or there were a couple of other questions along those lines and I think maybe it's worth us also talking about how we how we talk to the community to get their feedback on what they want to see coming up so could you tell us a little bit about the lab group that comes with the lab yes the lab has its own exclusive Facebook community group and it's it's a it's a tool for us to talk to you but also for you to talk to us about what you're enjoying in the lab and it's absolutely fantastic it's a really warm welcoming community and I'm so proud of it and it's only growing obviously in you know in the last couple of days it's it's growing um rapidly but we do ask for member feedback and this is really important we don't just sort of um give you the content that we think you want to see and don't ask your feedback at all we we ask your feedback we want to to hear about what you want to learn and once we, we see themes appearing and we think, OK, there's clearly a gap for this kind of topic in a mini lab, then we go away and we start to research and we slot it in. And we obviously plan quite far ahead. So we've got content planned, you know, um, for a little while. But but we continuously add new things to to our, our topics that we're going to be covering in the future. So if you said to us now, you know, we want to see X, Y and Z, we would we would be looking to include that in the future for you. So it, it's really nice that members can give us that feedback and tell us what they're enjoying, what's really resonating with them so we can give them more of that. Yeah, and I should add that Anna combs through all the feedback. She really, you know, reads everything, listens to what everyone says. And then we have great fun going out there into the industry and, you know, trying to find people who would fit really well. Like we've got a really cool um, mini lab coming up in January on packaging innovation. And one of our team members said, you know, we've been contacted by this packaging supply. They make this super innovative packaging. I'm not going to give the game away yet. We, you'll have to wait and see what goes in the lab. But we instantly went, oh, we, we have to talk to them. And so then we go after them because we want to make sure that we get people like that into the lab for you to be able to connect with them, which is very exciting. Packaging um, was highly requested as well as a, as a topic. We know our members are really interested in it. So it's something that we've put a lot of work into. Yeah, exactly. Well, do you maybe want to tell us a bit about what is coming up in the lab so that people know what's coming next? Because, I mean, we're almost at the end of November on the first or the, uh, the first of the month or the first Monday of the month, because, you know, would you like to sometimes have a bit of downtime at the weekend? Um, we put up the next mini lab. So what's coming next? Next, no, the week after next. What's the date? next week <laughs> yeah so as Lorraine said the content always comes round about the beginning of the month so if the first falls on a, on a Saturday or a Sunday it might not or a bank holiday but round about the first of the month you will get a new drop of content which is a new mini lab on your dashboard and you've got an email to let you know that it's live and that it's there ready for you and you will see it on your dashboard as well and in the next couple of months, we've got so next month in December, we're covering the topic of lamellar emulsions and emulsifiers that can create these 
lamellar liquid crystals and it is absolutely fascinating from a skin benefit point of view how these particular emulsifiers can support the skin essentially really really fascinating we've spoken to already we've we've talked about it but an ingredient supplier who has covered um the science behind their specific emulsifiers and their emulsifier range in depth and how they make their liquid crystal emulsifiers as stable as possible and the benefits that they have for the skin so you're hearing it directly from the supplier and we also have um some fantastic lessons where one of our tutors, Jilly, has done some amazing experiments with emulsifiers. Really fun, really interesting. She's she's done all sorts of experiments. She's varied the oil ratio to use with this specific emulsifier. And we've detailed all of that for you so that you can go ahead and then recreate that. So really exciting information. Then in in January, as Lorraine's already said, we've got packaging coming up. Highly requested topic, highly contentious topic actually at the moment because packaging is really tricky to get right from a sustainability point of view, you know, from, from the point of view of making sure that your packaging does what it needs to do for the consumer. And we know as indie brands that a lot of our communities struggle to find packaging that they can use that has you know, small enough ordered quantities with the suppliers. So we try and think of all of these things and cover all of these topics for you so that you've got something that is really practical and really useful. And then in February, we have the CBD and hemp mini lab coming up, which is really exciting. And that will be hosted by our guest, Colleen Quinn, um, Colleen is founder of Lab Aroma, but she also has courses on CBD and she's an absolute expert, best, you know, best in the business on this topic. So we're really excited to have her talking to our community. And again, CBD is one of those specialized topics that we knew our community wanted to hear about. So we thought, OK, you know, who can who can we talk to about that? How can we make that happen? Yeah. Wow, so that's just the next three months. And then of course, we've got all of 2021. So obviously there's a lot in store for you when you join the lab. And that's why, you know, we've got a whole team working on this. You know, Anna works really hard around the clock to make sure that the lab is awesome and does an amazing job, I should say. So big public shout out and thank you to Anna. Um, yeah, so we really would love it if you came to join us. I put the link up below, it's right here, formulabotanica.com forward slash lab, very easy to get to. And until Friday at four o'clock, it will be open for registration. After that, I have no idea when it will next be open. Literally no clue. I'm not making this up. I just don't know because we haven't got time to slot it in between all of our other big projects next year. So probably, I don't know, Q3, we'll see sometime in 2021. So the fact that you can get in now for one pound for the first month and then just come and make the most of it. Yeah, it's like I've said before, it's a bit of a no brainer. So I really hope that you come and join us. And if you have any questions about the lab, obviously just drop us a line at hello at formulabotanica.com. And we'd love to hear from you. Obviously, we're always happy to answer your questions. I've seen a couple of people say they were having, tr uh, having trouble signing up. Obviously, just reach out to our team. Our help desk team is vast. Loads of people in our help desk. We're there all, all the time, pretty much. Happy to answer your questions. So drop us a line at hello at formulabotanica.com if you are stuck, because we'd love to be able to help you become a lab member. I don't know if I've answered all the questions. I don't know if I've managed to get through them all. There were quite a few. Um, so please, if you have any other questions, if we haven't answered them today, if I accidentally missed your question, just drop us a line and we will do our best to answer it afterwards. But for now, come and join us in the lab. We can't wait to meet you. Yeah. I think Absolutely. that's about it really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Really excited to welcome everybody who's going to be joining and yeah, come and have a look round for a pound. You really can't go wrong. Yeah, absolutely. And let me just put this one up from Sam. She says, if you have any questions, please email us. Hello at formulapotanica.com. So thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, Anna, for giving us a behind the scenes tour of the lab. Really appreciate it. 
Um, thank you for building such an amazing platform. You're doing an amazing job. And thank you everyone for joining in with us. We really hope that you'll become one of our first lab members for 2020. And I really hope that you enjoy the content. So how, let me put the link up one more time. Oops, hang on. Oh, a couple of people saying, I just signed up. Let me just show that one. Dana's saying, I just signed up, woohoo. Nice one. So excited Dana. to have you, welcome. Exactly. Welcome. And then here's another one from Christine. Thank you both. I've just signed up. Awesome. So if you need that link again, here it is. In the meantime, have a great afternoon. Have a great evening. Have a great morning wherever you are in the world. And we'll be seeing you again soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.